Hello everyone, I'm Josh Rubenstein, the Public Information Director for the Los Angeles Police Department. This critical incident community briefing is intended to provide you with information about an officer-involved shooting that occurred in the Hollywood Division in the City of Los Angeles on October 29, 2018. You're about to see relevant video footage and learn about other evidence and police procedures related to this case so you can have a better understanding of what occurred based on what we know. The LAPD conducts very thorough use of force investigations, which typically require investigators to interview multiple witnesses, view numerous hours of video footage, and analyze a significant amount of forensic evidence. We're still at the very early stages of this investigation, which can often take up to a year to complete, and our understanding of this incident may change as the additional evidence is collected, analyzed, and reviewed. We also do not draw any conclusions about whether the officers acted consistent with our policies and the law until all the facts are known and the investigation is complete. A word of caution. The images and information you're about to see may be disturbing. When a police uses force to arrest a suspect or defend against an attack, it can be graphic and difficult to watch. In addition, there may be strong language used by those shown in the video. Viewer discretion is advised, especially for young children and sensitive viewers. Hello, I'm Captain Patricia Sandoval of Media Relations Division of the Los Angeles Police Department. I'm going to give you a brief overview of an incident that began on October 29th, 2018 at around 9.15 a.m. Officers from Hollywood Division responded to a radio call of a battery suspect at the 24-hour fitness at 6380 West Sunset Boulevard. When the officers arrived, they met with the manager and were advised that a suspect, later identified as Albert Ramon Dorsey, had battered one of their security officers on October 28th, 2018 and was now trespassing in the men's shower area, which was closed off for repairs. We were able to recover CCTV footage from Dorsey's confrontation with the security guard on the 28th. This is the body-worn video from when the officers first entered the business. Body-worn cameras are assigned to nearly every officer working field duties. They are worn at chest level and provide a perspective from that angle. Here now is video from our officer's contact with Dorsey. A staff member guided the officers into a closed off shower area to speak to the suspect. The officers located Dorsey and explained to him that they were going to escort him from the property. 
When Dorsey refused to comply with the officer's directions, the officer attempted to arrest him for trespassing. A scuffle ensued and both of the officer's body-worn cameras fell to the ground. During this altercation, both officers attempted to use their tasers, which had no effect on Dorsey. It is also important to note that Dorsey's size of more than 6 feet, 280 pounds, was exceptionally larger than both officers, who were just over 5 feet tall. Hey, sir. What's going on? Okay. Can you find your coats? I want you out. You gotta get out. This is one last time. No. I just go that time with Doctor. Sir, turn off your music. Put on your clothes and get out. Let's go. You gotta go. Huh? What's, what's the problem? They don't the want problem you is here. you're causing a disturbance. That's okay, I don't care, but you gotta put on your clothes right now. You gotta listen to us. Can I just grab something? No, I have to watch you. You gotta watch me. Yes, I have to watch you get dressed. I don't care what it is. We're not here just because we want to be here. They called on you. So you need to hurry up because I'm losing my patience right now, sir. I don't know, but I want you to put on your clothes. He just told you. We'll tell you outside. We need you to get out. What are you doing? I'm about to get my fucking roll. What the fuck you think I'm about to do? All right. Go ahead, put on your clothes. Do not have time for this shit. Are you gonna get dressed? Or we're gonna have to drag you out of here like this? Just hurry up and put on your clothes. That's all you gotta do. What is wrong with you? Are you gonna put on your clothes or not? Yeah! Okay, okay well then, we'll why are you looking now? at yourself in the mirror? I'm walking back. I ask you one simple thing. Take your clothes, put it on your body. Alright, now let me tell you one simple thing. Stop talking to me. Oh, it's like that, huh? Hurry up.
Hurry up, stop dancing, hurry up! Stop tensing up. Stop tensing up. Do not tense up on me. Do not fucking tense I up on me. I swear to God, if you fucking tense up, buddy. Do not tense up on me. Okay. What are you gonna do? Do not fucking tense up on me. Grab your car. Can you grab it? I can't. I can't. I can't. While you can only hear the fight in the background, according to officers' statements, Dorsey and one of the officers ended up on the ground with Dorsey straddling over her, repeatedly punching the officer in her face with his fist. The partner of that officer shot Dorsey to stop this attack. Dorsey was pronounced dead at the scene by Los Angeles Fire Department paramedics. Both officers received injuries during the initial altercation.
Albert Ramon Dorsey was a 30-year-old resident of Maryland and recently arrived to the Los Angeles area and was recently arrested for trespassing at the Coliseum in Los Angeles. In the next several months, the LAPD will continue to investigate and analyze this incident as witnesses come forward and forensic tests and an autopsy are completed. After the investigation is completed, the Civilian Board of Police Commissioners will evaluate the evidence to determine whether the officer's tactics and use of force met the high standards expected of all LAPD officers. If you'd like more information on how the LAPD and the LA District Attorney's Office investigates all officer-involved shootings and other serious uses of force, visit lapdonline.org, where you can also find LAPD's use of force policies and procedures. Thank you for taking the time to view this critical incident community briefing.